and Utah's cycle of winter particulates and summer ozone. It's sad, but predictable. There are also problems that we make ourselves in our valleys and we can work to defeat. Well, in depth today, we compare the different and more distant problem of smoke from wildfires. Normal summer pollution on the Wasatch Front looks like this. Up and down, up in the day when the sun fuels the chemical reaction that creates ozone. Down from evening to morning, and in a sense, you can plan around it. Play and work out outside at night or in the morning, and you avoid the bad air. Wildfires flip the script in two ways, polluting the air with particulates in the summer and sending those particulates to places immune from our urban pollution problems. The purple air monitors show unhealthy conditions in the usual places, but then travel over the mountains. Park City and Heber have it. Move south, it's in San Pete and Carbon counties. Further south, it's in Torrey outside of Capitol Reef and in Moab. And now compare it to winter inversions. These numbers show the worst air day for sites in Davis, Salt Lake, and Utah. Utah counties in each month this past December, January, and February, the inversion season. And here's the 24-hour average each site has reached in the last day. It's really concerning, and the ozone has also been quite bad. Our worst winter air days came in December, which is a little unusual. That means that so far in 2021, we are currently experiencing the worst air we've had so far this year. 